Is it a good thing or a bad thing for Gator football if he becomes the number one pick in the draft? And I'll preface this, all right, Kyle, before I put you on the spot with this one, baby. You didn't see this one coming. Is it a good thing or a bad thing for the program if he goes number one overall? Because you would 99% of the time say, of course it's a great thing. It's a fantastic thing for the program. Our player went number one overall. It means the number one pick in the draft. I'm trying to think of the last Florida Gator to go number one overall. I, I Can you think of one? I can't think of one no, off the top of my head. If he goes number one overall, and he's a guy that 50% of the fan base, if not more, said, I can't wait till he goes. Can't wait till he gets out of here. And he enters the draft, and he goes number one overall. And he's also a guy that led you to a six and six record. What does that mean for the Gator football program with the number one overall pick, all these intangibles that they couldn't win with him? So Kyle Crooks, I'll put that question to you. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? If Anthony, I can't believe this, if Anthony Richardson goes number one overall. Yeah, I think it's undoubtedly a good thing for the program. Uh, I think you made a good point with the fans kind of, and I think rightfully so, right? He had his flaws. A lot of this is on projection yeah. for Anthony Richardson. A lot of it is he's going to be this. He's going to be that. He has all the tangible things, the arm, the size. He can run. He's built like a brick wall as a quarterback, which more and more, obviously, we have running quarterbacks now, and Anthony Richardson fits that mold. Um, I think it says more, Seth, about maybe the roster around him. Um the the first year kind of where gator football 